In the past life regression I work that I do, um, QHHT, quantum healing hypnosis technique, there's a lot of talk about the new earth and the ascension of humanity. And it's not only in that, but Dolores Cannon wrote a book, The Three Waves of Volunteers and the New Earth. And it was all about how people are being incarnated to kind of raise the frequency on Earth because we're going to a very new level. And the messages that have been coming in recently, very consistently, are saying we, the Earth, is already on that new level. And now it's just for us to catch up to it. So there tends to be a kind of waiting for the Messiah vibe around this whole question of the new earth. And that waiting for the Messiah vibe is, in my opinion, the wrong approach. Because it assumes that there's some other thing out there that's going to save you. That the earth is going to raise its frequency and carry you along. And to some degree that may be true, but it's not the kind of savior thing that you might think. The real issue is that things are accelerating and to some degree we will be swept along by the acceleration, but to another degree, it's up to us to catch up to what has already shifted. And that's the point of what I want to talk about right now. The fact is the new earth is already here. And it can be confusing for those who are seeking Shangri-La and everlasting bliss because although that might be kind of part of what we're headed to, there's a lot of cleanup that needs to happen first. And the reason that the new earth might be here, but you might not realize it, is because of all these other energies that you're still involved with. It's your job to catch up to the high frequencies that are coming in. And you'll notice when you don't, they kind of make you anyway. Um, well, they don't make you catch up. So let me give an example. Because really what it comes down to is that energies that you're holding on to are going to come up before you can reach this state of nirvana that you may be seeking. Um, so, for example, anger. I started noticing a couple weeks ago when I would leave the house, I would just be angry for no reason. Um, you know, I was pissed off driving, I was pissed off at the bank, you know, whatever. Every little thing that somebody was incompetent about really frustrated me. And in my meditation, I was just like, Andy, there's no room for you going around in the world pissed off. This is ridiculous. But so it was like, the higher frequencies are bringing up the, our issues to look at. And if we work on them and we clear them, then we kind of effortlessly ascend to, the, to a next level. Um, so the message came in very clearly. When you leave the house, 
just get very clear on I'm not going out to be pissed off, right? Because what I could feel what was happening with this was that what's underneath that anger is love. And that love wants to come out. I want to be driving around feeling love. I want to be in the bank feeling love. I want to be dealing with anybody's incompetence from a space of love. But what's in the way of that love was the anger. Was the anger of a whole lifetime of, you know, they don't get me or I was punished or whatever the hell. And a lot of times when you think you've cleared something and you have, there's still another layer, right? And to some degree, the layers are infinite and you could get stuck in a, in, in a purification frenzy that would be counterproductive. But anyway, as I cleared away that layer of anger, frustration about humanity in general that I notice now I'm in a different energy when I go around the city of Los Angeles and I'm not all pissed off driving all the time I'm not in that mode because this is something that had to come up for me to process for me to open up to a new level of this new earth energy. And there are many more levels. And the, the, the timing of the different levels might not make sense. Like, why was I given boosts of intuition and compassion? And all of these beautiful things, but then I still had this rage inside. You would think I wouldn't get all these beautiful things until I cleared the rage. But, it, you know, it doesn't necessarily make linear logical sense. You just have to follow the emotions as they're happening. And so realize that as the frequency rises think of it as like turning on a light in a room brighter and brighter and brighter as the light gets brighter the dirt starts to become more visible dirt that was absolutely invisible in dim lighting all of a sudden is glaring in the bright lights a couple months ago i was with some friends at kind of an old historical restaurant in la one of these places that you know charlie chaplin used to go to in the 30s or 20s or whatever and it looked really classy and my friend he had been there multiple times doing shoots doing film shoots where they had a lot of very bright lighting and he was saying you know this place is kind of dingy and, and worn you know worn out whatever it didn't look that way in the dim lighting of the evening dinner hour right but when he was there he had all the bright lights for filming going on and he could see every speck every discoloration in the furniture and the leather whatever and so that's kind of what's happening now in our reality the 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 light is shining brighter and brighter but we might be noticing the negativity more and more 
That doesn't mean that there's more negativity. It means that the negativity is becoming less and less of an option. The Earth is ascending. Check Dolores Cannon. Check Paul Selig's works. Others, um, some of the Palladian channelings from back in the 80s, 90s, I'm not sure. Um, there is a movement that is happening. It might seem like it's the opposite. But if you get your back to the wind and let the wind help propel you, you will see that you are catching up to the new earth that is already here. And every step of that is really a beautiful reunion that I highly recommend. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.